Mark Cox from um, it's in Australia. Grew up in a one hour point community and uh, moved to Broome and now live in Broome. I grew up in one hour point and it was a um, small little community um, with a um, small church. That's when I first came to came to God and we got really changed my life and I grew up in the community and uh, one hour point um, there were not many young people there, Christians, and you know, many of the old people, um, ladies in the church, when I first went to church. But um, the community is not growing, and, but yeah, there were good times, bad times. And when I was a child, I used to go to Sunday school when I was little, and at the community at one point, and then I was growing up, I went to boarding school down south, in the school at Harvey. It was, Harvey was down south from Perth, near Bunbury, and spent time at boarding school there, Christian boarding school. I went, and um, that's when I first accepted Christ in my life. But I didn't understand Christ, and I didn't really know him. But I usually had knowledge of him, and I had filled the Holy Spirit with me, of Christ, but I never really knew, knew him. I uh, accepted in my life when I was young. Watch football on TV, AFL, and play guitar and watch movies. And have a quiet time with God. Every time I was growing up, was, um, yeah, it was free, instant playing, and there was no problems, no trouble. And, yeah, every time growing up with family and the normal families and it's good remembering them and yeah. at times was um you know, my dad my dad died when I was young, ten years old and was growing up and yeah, I felt lonely, I felt um in the community growing up, it was hard. Work and money and stuff. But I had no no certificates, no ID to say I can do this and do that and work and stuff. It's really hard. And growing up was, you know, in the 80s we were never taught at school to do. We never had a chance to learn in school and to do this or do that and play music or whatever. But now that, you know, the new generation being us, they have opportunities, have chance to do what they want to do. But in that time of growing up, I was not allowed to do this or that, you know, and it was hard for us. In 1995, yeah, I was in rehab and God trying to speak to me through them and one night I was feeling down, broken hearted, lost and really down, you know, and broken relationship, broken um, worries and we really cooked, I'm drinking all night, one night drinking and I was really feeling down and hurt and and then I called to God and this blackness came over me and I called to God and to help me to forgive me. God forgive me and the darkness in my mind, the heavy burden just left me and I feel light and I feel the spirit of God touch me and I asked God forgiveness and yeah, God forgive me and I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit and the heavy weight on me, the heavy weight that was on me just went and was going away from me and I knew God, I knew God was forgiving me so yeah. so I believe. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son to whoever believes in Him. It's not purse, but I have everlasting life. I believe in the verse because it really spoke to me the first time I read it, the way He came. Because don't speak to me about Jesus came and not only for me, but for the world, for the whole world, and died for the whole world. Went to the cross for our sin, to ask forgiveness and yeah, have forgiveness and Jesus will free us and set us free, you know. I 
after I gave my life to Christ, I was baptized and I started to follow Christ and God took me to places I never knew I'd go to and do the things I never thought I'd do. And God took me everywhere to places I've never been to. Overseas trip or a mission trip and yeah, all the other other places and so I thought I'd never be. He blessed me. Jesus can forgive them. No matter what bad things they've done, whatever they did wrong and you know, he forgive me and he can forgive you and no matter how bad you are, you know, Jesus can still forgive you. He still love you. I don't know what to, what to expect when I arrived here, but I didn't linger, but the staff and everyone was so loving and good and kind, and yeah, um, I felt peace here. And maybe help to do things that I never, learn things that I never be learning. It was good, yeah. To have peace, to grow spiritually and with Christ, and have more time with Christ and God, and come to know Him and understand Him. Hopefully I can use what I learned here in Langalinga back to my church and my community and whatever I know and to say it out there.